In this tutorial, I'll show you a little bit about how to take data from a total station and get it into Civil 3D. Now, there's a couple steps in that process. The first step is pulling that data off of the total station, and you can see that here we have an ASCII file. This is directly pulled from the total station. And in order to get it into Civil 3D, we're going to need to put it first into Microsoft Excel, and then from there put it into uh, Civil 3D. Now Microsoft Excel, what it does is it allows us to easily modify that data. If you look at it right now, you're going to see that there's semicolons. Uh, this could be tab delimited or comma delimited as well, but there's some separation between those commas uh, or between those columns. And this is a uh, difficult way to modify the data from here. So instead of opening it in uh, Notepad, we are going to want to open it in Excel. So we'll go ahead and bring up Excel here. Once Excel is open, you'll have the opportunity either to open another workbook from here or if it comes up blank you can go file and open and we're going to just browse to the current downloads folder notice that when I first come to the downloads folder that nothing nothing shows up and the reason is that this is only showing Excel files at this point you do need to go to select all files and then the survey data does show up there and we'll hit open now when you open up the file initially it comes up with this import wizard. This import wizard is in, in order to basically place each of the data points correctly in the columns and rows appropriately. You're going to need to select the delimited here and go to the next page and this delimited basically says that it's uh, stating how those separations are made. So when you click semicolon you'll notice that there's a nice, nice and neat lines that show up giving everything into the appropriate column. Uh, sometimes this could be tab or comma delimited and in that case you need to hit comma here or those tabs but you should see here that all of them uh, basically break up into the appropriate columns uh, respectively there so we can just say finish at this point and the data will come in nice and neat like this now it's very important that this data get manipulated correctly before it gets put into Civil 3D. So a couple things that we're going to need to do here. First is just to t go to your field notes and make sure that everything that's, if there's any errors here that you're deleting out certain things. So this data point did not get taken correctly. So we want to delete that out. So first thing is go to go review through your data and see if there's anything in here that should not be in there. And make sure to get that deleted out. The second thing here is that uh, this data here in the point ID, this does need to be a number in order to correctly come into Civil 3D. These ones here are letters, so in this case here I'm just going to, uh, let's imagine that these were not part of our data set, they were somebody else's data. We're just going to go ahead and delete those out. Uh, there is another set, set of those down here, and we're going to pretend that we want to use this other set of data that is in here. Where did it go? Here we go. Uh, and sometimes if you have another set of data here you can just start with another uh, like a thousand and one and just start that trend all the way in so that we know that this is a different set of data and we know then in your field notes you can update that to represent what it should be representing. You will need to go through and make sure that all these other values in terms of the raw description um, are given here. Let's just say that these should all be ground shots and make sure that this code is done correctly. This is going to be what the raw description will be in our uh, showing. So now at this point, all of our data is correct. It's accurate to what our field notes showed. All the errors are brought out. Now we're going to take all these columns um, that have no data in them. We'll delete those. And the last, uh, the second to last step is to get rid of the headings here. Uh, the import file should not have any text in it. Uh, on this first line or else it will not accept that file so you do need to get rid of that and then there's one final thing that we need to do before we're done here and this is basically we need to get rid of all spaces in here if and we're gonna go ahead control F there and we're gonna hit replace and all you're gonna do is put a space in for find what and replace it with nothing notice when I do this uh, we're gonna replace all and there was over 4,000 uh, spaces in there. What happens in the file is that if it sees a space it thinks that that is text instead of a number and it can basically get rid of all the values. Um, it will not allow to see that as values and will not import the data correctly. Now once that's done we need to go ahead and save this and we're going to save it as instead of a tab delimited we want it to be a, a CSV. So go ahead and put CSV comma delimited um, it's best to change the name so that it doesn't have the dot ASCII so there's no confusion there um, and we can just call this updated. 
So that does save that there. And now this data is all ready to be imported into Civil 3D.